Faith is the bird that feels the light when dawn is still dark. At present, the entire human race is walking through the dark phase of adversity and uncertainty. Now, this quote written by Rabindranath Tagore is like a guiding light for all. One may be standing in the face of the day where darkness prevails everywhere, but it should not be forgotten that the morning is going to come with a note of happiness and the only string that connects darkness to light is faith. Hence, one should have faith on himself as well as on the Creator that the night of adversities will be overcome by the morning of happiness. So, on this note that we will be able to fight coronavirus, I start this new video of mine on Ravindra Jayanti and welcome you all to this interesting as well as emotional video. Today's video is going to be a bit different. Today, I am not going to share a many information about the life of Rabindranath Tagore, but I am going to share something different. We celebrate the birthday of Rabindranath Tagore, that is on the 25th day of the Bengali month of Boishak or Pochishe Boishak as Rabindra Joint. Rabindranath Tagore has touched every emotion of man and thus he has acquired the title of Kobi Guru. The poems, short stories, essays uh, and all the writings by him are not only loved by the people of West Bengal but are loved and admired by the people of the whole world. He is the pride of Bengal and has left behind a rich cultural heritage for the people of West Bengal. Thus, it is our responsibility as Bengalis to hold this rich heritage high. The celebrating of Rabindra Jayanti is just like an act that helps to uplift the rich heritage of Bengal. In the past years, we have celebrated Rabindra Jayanti with great enthusiasm. A lot of social gatherings have been done and programs have been organized where people showcase their talents, they recite poems written by Rabindranath Tagore, act out plays written by Rabindranath Tagore and sing Rabindra Shongit and enjoy themselves. But in the present situation, that is the pandemic situation, social gatherings are strictly prohibited. Hence, uh, arranging physical programs uh, cannot be done. Hence, the different authorities, schools, offices can organize virtual programs that helps to uplift the rich heritage of Bengal. Home concerts can be organized which will not only help the younger generation to know about Bengal's rich heritage but also bring the hidden talents of the family members in the forefront. In the past years, we have celebrated Rabindra Jayanti with great enthusiasm and it is our very glorious and rich cultural festival. So we should not let the glory of Rabindra Jayanti come down and we should take the pledge to bring forth the rich cultural heritage of Bengal in front of the whole world. I hope that through this video of mine, I could uh, bring some enthusiasm and high spirits in you so that you could celebrate Rabindra Jayanti with a lot of enthusiasm virtually. Whether we can celebrate Rabindra Jayanti being physically present or not is a big question. I would like to end this presentation of mine by a famous poem written by Rabindranath Tagore that is, Where the Mind is Without Fear. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where word comes out 
from the depth of truth. Where tireless striving stretches into arms towards perfection. Where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert, sand of dead habit. Where the mind is led forth by thee into ever widening thought and action. Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake.